We're going to be diving into a bunch of different tips and tricks, including photo restoration adjustment layers. Down at the bottom of your layers panel, you can start with an adjustment layer. And for something like this, there are so many different adjustment layers you can potentially use. Something like brightness and contrast is a decent one, right? And that allows you to increase the contrast a little bit, maybe darken the brightness a touch. And that looks not bad, right? Before after. We can also try something like curves, and this allows you to adjust the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. Place some points. I'm just doing this over here in my properties panel, which by the way, if you lose your properties panel, if you don't have it, under the window menu, go down to properties. And sharpen up and darken the shadows a little bit, darken the midtones, darken the highlights. We are going to explore one of the newer neural filters in Photoshop. I have this photo layer selected, convert it into a smart object, either by right clicking on it, convert to smart object, or under the filter menu, I can go down to convert for smart filters. You're able to go to any of the filters and it's going to add it on as a, essentially as a separate layer. So you can turn it off, you can hide it, you can add a layer mask to it. Down here, we're gonna look for the photo restoration neural filter right down here at the bottom. So I'm gonna turn that on. Immediately, it's gonna get to work as you can see down here at the bottom. And in a second, we're gonna see its initial result. In some cases, it may look overdone, but what you're noticing is that it did a decent job at correcting some of the lighting, like we were doing with our curves adjustment layer. Some of the faces, it tried to restore a little bit, but over to the right-hand side, you do have some more controls. If the faces look a little bit too enhanced, you can just drop this slider down, let's say to around 10 maybe. It tries to enhance some of the faces using AI and all this fun stuff. We can also enhance the photo itself. So if I drop this down to zero, you're noticing that was the before. And if I bump it all the way up to 100, overdone. So you have to really find that sweet spot. One of the big things that you're probably gonna want to use with an example like this is the scratch reduction slider. Turn this all the way up to 100 and see what happens. Apparently it thought that half of this guy's face was a scratch. 100 is usually gonna be overdone. So let's drop it down. It's, it's getting there, right? So before and after, you know, this guy's face, I think because possibly the his, his face is very bright, it might be mistaken staking it, do we apply some adjustment layers first to deal with the lighting to help Photoshop figure out what's a scratch and what's not a scratch? I will see you all next time. Thanks everyone.